Okay, another motor, thanks to Smart Creations 2010, I think. Um, his, a link to his channel is in the description. Uh, he's got some great stuff to copy and he's always got the uh, circuit diagrams. He's got a really good channel, so I recommend it. Um, he showed basically the same circuit but with a hall sensor. I've decided to use a reed switch, which makes it exactly the same circuit as I'm using for that one. But I'm just, uh, uh, it's using a lot more power though. I've got it on a 12 volt wall plug to get that going. I mean, that's a lot of uh, power really. I think it's about half an amp, but um, it's a lot of watts just to push a, <laughs> a little magnetic ball around. Um, that's only using 1AA. Uh, this will not work on 1AA, or perhaps it will, but it, it takes a lot of fiddling again. You, see, you know, you've got to fiddle with it to get it in the right place. I've kind of got it slightly leaned over to the coil and I don't know if you can see the reed switch there, but it's just behind on that side of the coil. Um, but it seems to be stable like that and just pushing it around nicely. But I was pleased to get a different kind of idea with the motor going, still nonetheless. This is actually for a Mendocino, but um, I don't have the right magnets. I've realised that having looked through the hundreds of magnets I've got, I haven't got the right ones. So uh, the Mendocino will have to wait for a moment. Um, tried to get some speakers, some old speakers like Slider did, but I'm really pleased anyway to get another motor going. So thanks Smart Creations, great ideas on his channel, please go and check him out. Um, just if you're going to try and do this, remember you're going to need, I mean Smart Creations was using 4 AAs, um, 6 volts, I'm using 12 volts, perhaps it will work on 9, I don't know, I haven't tried yet, but it's working nicely on 12 anyway, um, very very stable. So thanks again to Esmar and thanks for watching.